Hi everyone, I'm Sean with Camera West and Leica Store San Francisco and I have something interesting to share with you today. This just looks like a ratty old Leica case, which it is, but it's a special one. Um, you can't really tell too much about it because the label's been worn off, but uh, whenever you see one of these old Leica cases with the aluminum label uh, riveted onto the top of that, you know you've got something special. This is a Leica KS15-4, which is a, a, an M2 that was made for the U.S. Army during 1966 during the Vietnam uh, War era. Um, they made about, I think about 875 of these. And this one is relatively complete. I've got some documents in here. Instruction manual for the meter, instruction manual for the 50F2, manual for the 135, manual for the flash gun, M2 instruction manual, manual for the case, and some additional operating instructions. Um, sometimes when you run into these, there'll be um, uh, depot information on when they were last serviced in here, what military depot they came out of, which is really interesting. But you can see how it's packaged. Um, you know, this one's obviously been used but a lot of the pieces haven't been used, um, like the flash sync cable. It has the original uh, like a catalog number on it. Um, these were uh, the non-typical packaging that was made specifically for the set. Uh, also in there you've got the flash gun, also in its packaging. I've got a 12585 lens shade. I've got the fan uh, reflector for the flash, cable release, and that's all I've got that's new package. We'll dig a few other things out, but the main thing is the camera itself. This is the KS15. Um, it's, it's an M2, and it has the M4 loading system in it. So this was the first camera to feature this rapid load system, and you can see the distinctive plate on the bottom that shows you how to load it and it has the uh, the pronged teeth over here and this is the system that we're familiar with loading today um, it's a system used in the current MA, the MP, the new M6, uh, the vintage M6's um, it's used in the uh, M4's, M42, M4P um, pretty much every camera made after this model had this in it let's go ahead and pop this back on and the base plate's unique to this model because it has the uh, the loading guide on it which helps push the leader up into the teeth well, let's take this meter off of here which is if you've never done it on one of these it's a little bit complicated you want to line the line on the shutter speed dial of the meter up with the B setting so that way you can lift it up it disengages the shutter speed dial because it's slotted and it's less likely to scratch the top cover. This M2 looks pretty much like any other M2 that you're going to notice. It just has a regular M2 marking on the top. It is one of the latest uh, production M2s. It has the self-timer um, and all the other late model features. These sets came with the 35 F2 8 element, which is kind of a legendary lens these days. They also came with the 50 F2 dual range, which we mentioned earlier, and the 135 millimeter with the goggles. Also in the case, we have filter set for the 35 and the 50. We have the goggles for the 50 F2. One thing I find really interesting, this is the original leather neck strap for the M2. You see these around occasionally, but you don't see them much unused. And I'll see if this one's stamped or not. A lot of times they're stamped lights near the strap lug. Now it is unmarked, but the, this is the correct strap that would have been supplied with this camera. And this one appears to have never been attached to the camera. Also in here are filters for the 135. And it's the same filter set combination that they have for the, the 39 millimeter. So there's an orange and also with the proper code numbers on it. To be careful not to tear this old cardboard. Green. And the other one should be UV. 
Yep, UV. What is missing in this case? Uh, there's no flash bulbs in here. There is a flash test bulb. Um, a lot of times when you get these, you're going to see um, the box and the case for the meter, which isn't present. So it's mostly complete, but not fully complete. Also in here are a couple of the XMU uh, reloadable cassettes. And these have gotten a lot more popular lately. But you've got your watertight plastic case with the original cassette. And this one's corroded a little bit on the base for just being locked away for 50 years. It looks like there's a Y service seal on this one. And what's interesting on these plate lenses, especially on the 50 F2s, these lenses had uh, hardened multi coatings on them, uh, special for this camera outfit. So, this is a, a 50 dual range in the uh, 2.2 million uh, serial number range. So, it's a very, very, very late version. And you'll get these in, and you'll find that the coatings are typically really nice. The earlier ones, like the 5CM versions, you see them all the time with pitted coatings and, 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 uh, and cleaning marks and things like that. And fortunately, these you don't see that often. On the KS15, which is which is now called the M2R, the uh, when they stopped the production of these for the U.S. Army, um, they still had a lot of parts available to assemble more of these. So this became a commercially produced uh, camera in 1969-1970 called the M2R. Looks exactly like this, but it says M2-R next to the serial number, and very few of those were made as well. So both the M2R and the KS15 are are very collectible cameras. Uh, they don't bring as much as the KE7As, uh, the military nor the civilian version. Um, they don't have the 50F2 LCAN lens on them. But this is a really great set because it has a lot of desirable glass in it. Um, the 50F2 dual range with the hardened multi coatings, the 35F2 8 element, and then the 135 2.8. Uh, if you've never used one of these, give one a try because it's a really neat lens. Um, the goggles, it keys up the frame lines for the 90 millimeter in the camera, and then the goggles magnify the 90 millimeter focal length to give you the 135. So it's really pleasant to use. Um, your frame lines aren't quite so small as you would have with the regular 135. It's a little bit bigger and bulkier, but it has a, it has a great look to it. The bulk is really nice. So I highly recommend checking one of these out if you get an opportunity. Now I also brought something else along to show you with this, back in the early 2000s when we first started Camera West, I was involved with a, a government contract purchase where we bought a lot of these sets. Um, this one was, was purchased by me directly from the government back in like 2001 or 2002. I sold it to a client and then the family brought it back in a few weeks ago to, to sell it back. This is another KS15. It's not a complete set. But this one is nice because the case is in much nicer condition and you can see what the original uh, uh, aluminum label would have looked like. It gives you the camera set uh, number, the manufacturer's part number, um, the, uh, and the contract number with the uh, military uh, number on it, contract number. And this one um, has the Army Depot number on it. And let's see what's inside of this one. Now these tags were original to the case when I purchased it back in 2000, I think 2001. Um, these are just um, uh, uh, Department of Defense uh, tags on it for inventory. This one looks pretty much the same in the, on the inside. Um, now there's some extra pieces in this one. So there's two sets there. Um, this is one of the XMU cassettes that's new in the packaging. Now, of course, I've got the three filters for the 135. Um, this is the shoulder strap for the, for the bag. It's unused, which is nice. Um, here's a brand new Leica MR meter that would have come with it. Um, it's still sealed. Uh, 50F2 dual range. I've got the shade for the dual range. I've got the goggles for the dual range in the original packaging. Some more XMU cassettes. Another one of those straps. Now I've not done any homework on this one, but this one came to me with a, a later 
um, 35 f2 6 element lens. Um, I don't know if this is original to the set. I assumed when I got it that it wasn't, but it could be. Uh, I never really just looked into it. Another interesting thing on these guys, they all have uh, the stickers on here, which give you the Leica catalog number and the serial number, and that's how they were just. That's how these were sent to the military. So this one has the correct shade for the 35 f2, as well as the correct shade for the 50. The, our full set was missing the shade for the 35. It's probably gotten lost at some time. Back to this guy, um, KS154, which is the M2-R. It's just a great piece. There's only 875 of these produced. Uh, you don't see that. You see them like this a lot. You see the body only a lot. Um, you just don't see them with the complete set. Um, I think it's a real nice find. It's something I like to share with you guys. Um, don't know when I'm going to see another one, so let's get it recorded uh, for posterity. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again for some more interesting pieces from our vault.